Lesson 1.1, Place Value and Patterns. Our number system is base 10. All the place values are based on the number 10. Any place value position is 10 times greater than the position to its right and one-tenth of the position to its left. We can use base 10 blocks to understand the relationships of place value positions. So this is one large cube. It's 1,000 unit cubes. This is a flat. It's 100 unit cubes. So if we had 10 of these, we'd have a large cube. This is called a long. Sometimes you might see it called a rod. It's 10 unit cubes. If we had 10 of these, we could make a flat. And this is one small cube. If we had 10 of them, we could make a long. 100 is 10 times greater than 10. And 10 is 10 times less than 100. 10 is 1 tenth of 100. 10 is one of 10 equal size parts of 100. 1,000 is 10 times greater than 100. 100 is 10 times less than 1,000. So 100 is 1 tenth of 1,000. 100 is one of 10 equal size parts of 1,000. So we are, here we have a chart showing our place values. We've got ones, tens, hundreds. Then we've got our thousands of 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. We got millions for 1 million, 10 million, 100 million. And we can multiply by 10 for each column that we move towards the left on the place value chart to find the relationship between two place values. So here we have ones. If we multiply 1 times 10, we'll have a 10. And if we multiply the 10 times 10, we'll have a 100. And if we multiply the 100 times 10, we'll have 1,000 and so on. And we can divide by 10 for each place value that we move towards the right on this place value chart. So if we're at 1,000 and we divide 1,000 by 10, we'll be at 100. And if we have 100 and we divide it by 10, then we'll move to the right and we'll have a 10. And, and if we divide that 10 by 10, we'll have a 1. In fourth grade math video 12.6, which is linked in the description, we were first introduced to powers of 10 as factors of 10. We have our place values, our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. And as we move from the ones place to the tens place, we multiply by 10. We move from the tens place to the hundreds place, we multiply by 10. And to move from the hundreds place to the thousands place, we multiply by 10. So, moving from the ones to the tens would be one factor of 10. That would be 10. Moving from the tens to the hundreds, we now have one, two factors of 10. That would be 10 times 10 equals 100. And moving from hundreds to thousands, we've now got one, two, three factors of 10. 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to 1,000. So here we have three factors of 10. See that? We have two factors of 10 that makes the 100. We have one factor of 10 that makes a 10. So a pattern we have is each next greater place value is 10 times more. So that's 10 times more than 1. 100 is 10 times more than 10. And 1,000 is 10 times more than 100. And each next lesser place value is one-tenth as much. Starting with the 1,000 cubes, 100 is one-tenth of 1,000. And 10 is one-tenth of 100. And 1 is one-tenth of 10. We can write numbers that are 10 times as much or one-tenth as much as any given number. So here, our given number is 2,000. We can write 10 times as much as 2,000. We just multiply by 10. That would be 20,000. 
20,000 is 10 times as much as 2,000. We just multiplied by 10. Now for this amount, it would be 10 times as much as 20,000. We would multiply this times 10. We would have 200,000. We can go the other direction. Our given number was 2,000. We want one-tenth as much as 2,000. So now, because we're heading this direction, we're going to divide by 10. One-tenth as much as 2,000 would be 200. So for this place right here, we would do one-tenth as much as 200. That would be 20. It would be two tens. Then we find one-tenth as much as this 20. Now we're in the ones place. That would be a two, two ones. As we move to the left of the given number, we multiplied by 10. And as we moved towards the right of the given number, we divided by 10. As we multiply, we create greater numbers, just as the place values become greater moving left. Each place value column we move to the left, we multiply. As we divide, we create lesser numbers, just as the place values become lesser moving right. Each place value column we move to the right, we divide. So here we have a 5. If we do 5 times 10, we're going to have 50. And if we do 5 times 100, we'll have 500. And if we do 5 times 1,000, we'll have 5,000. If we start at 5,000 and divide it by 10, because we're moving it to, towards the right, so we're going to divide, we have 500. And if we have 5,000 and we divide it by 100, it will equal 50. And if we have 5,000 and we divide it by 1,000, we'll have a 5. So as we multiply by multiples of 10, we add zeros. So we had a 5. We multiplied it by 10. It's got one zero. We just put a zero next to the 5. When we multiplied the 5 times 100, 100 has two zeros. We have a 5 with two zeros. That's 500. When we multiply 5 times 1,000, 1,000 has three zeros. That gives us 5,000. As we divide by multiples of 10, we remove zeros. So we had 5,000, and when we divided it by 10, there's one zero in 10. So we took a zero away from the 5,000 that made it a 500. We have 5,000, and we're going to divide it by 100. There's two zeros in 100, so we take two zeros away from the 5,000, and it's a 50. And starting with 5,000, if we divide it by 1,000, there's three zeros in 1,000, so we take those three zeros away, we have a 5. So we have a pattern of zeros. When we multiply by 10, it's got one zero, we add a zero to the number. When we multiply by 100, it's got two zeros, we add two zeros to the number. When we multiply it by 1,000, there's three zeros. We add three zeros to the number. When we divide by 10, it's got one zero, so we remove a zero from the number. When we divide by 100, it's got two zeros. We remove two zeros from the number. When we divide by 1,000, it's got three zeros. We remove three zeros from the number. We can use the pattern of zeros to help us complete the sentences using 100 or 1,000. 500 is blank times as much as 5. We can count how many more zeros it has. 500 has two more zeros than this 5. That means it's 100 times as much as 5. We have a 1 with two zeros. 6,000 is blank times as much as 6. So we have a 6 with three zeros. It must be 1,000 times as much as 6. 400,000 is blank times as much as 4,000. 4,000 has three zeros. This has five zeros. 
we took the three zeros away, that leaves two zeros right here, and 100 has two zeros, so it's 100 times as much as 4,000. 20,000 is blank times as much as 20. 20 has one zero. This has four zeros. If we took this one zero away right here and covered it, we'd see there are three zeros, and 1,000 has three zeros. It's 1,000 times as much as 20. We can use the pattern of zeros in mental math to complete sentences like this. We need to complete the sentences using 10 times or 1 tenth. 4 is blank as much as 40. Well, it's less than 40, so it can't be 10 times 40. 4 is one of 10 equal parts of 40. It's one-tenth as much as 40. So 40 is blank as much as 4. 40 is 10 times as much as 4. 4 times 10 is 40, so 40 is 10 times as much as 4. 50 is blank as much as 500. Well, 50 is less than 500, so it's not 10 times 500. It must be one-tenth as much as 500. It has one less zero. So 500 is blank as much as 50. It's greater than 50, so it must be 10 times as much as 50. 200 is blank as much as 20. Well, 200 is greater than 20. 200 is 10 times as much as 20. So 20 is blank as much as 200, and 20 is less than 200. It's only a small part of 200. It's one-tenth as much as 200. 30,000 is blank as much as 3,000. Well, 30,000 is greater than 3,000, so 30,000 is 10 times as much as 3,000. So 3,000 is blank as much as 30,000. 3,000 is less than 30,000. It's one of an equal part of 30,000. It's one-tenth as much. When the value is less than the one we're comparing, we know it's a fraction of it. When the value is greater than the one we're comparing, we know it's many times more than that number. Emma had 200 stickers. She gave one-tenth to Tala. How many stickers did she give to Tala? So we think we need to find one-tenth of 200. What number is one of 10 equal parts of 200? And we could replace the word of with a multiplication symbol. One-tenth of 200 would be one-tenth times 200. And back in fourth grade math, video 8.3 and 8.4, we learned about multiplying fractions to whole numbers. We take the numerator 1 and multiply it by the whole number, 1 times 200, and we just use that denominator. 1 times 200 is 200. We have 200 tenths. We use division, 200 divided by 10 is equal to 20, so she gave 20 stickers to Tala. Now, if this really confused you what I did here, you can go back and look in the description of this video and watch those fourth grade math videos because we're going to learn this again with some more information in chapter 7. We're only in chapter 1. So you might want to refresh your memory real quick by watching a couple of quick videos so that you're ready for chapter 7. Our next lesson 1.2, we're going to read and write whole numbers and we're going to put them in expanded form. I hope to see you there. Stay strong. Have a great day. Bye.